Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another guide for Farming Simulator 22 with me, Simulation for the Nation. Now, today, we're going to be looking into cows and how you can feed your cows depending upon how large or small your farm may be. In FS22, Giants have put a little bit more thought and focus into how you feed your cattle, made it a little bit more important to feed them the right mix of feed on the right consistent basis, uh, which will also determine exactly how good, if you are using dairy cattle, how good your productivity can be there as well. So we're going to have a look into that today. Uh, so we're going to start on the smaller scale here. Make sure that we get this all right. And the first thing to look into is, well, of course, the easiest place to feed them is straight down the trough here. Nice and easy. You can drive in your feeder wagon into there and feed them on the floor. Uh, so we are going to do that. We've got a John Deere with the feeder wagon on ready to go. Uh, this has all been very hastily put down, so excuse some of the terrain dips and hollows there, but we'll make it work today. Uh, as you jump on into the tractor with the feeder wagon on, the first thing to notice is the mix and ratio here. Now, this is so you can make total mix ration. It will require some straw, some grass, some silage, and some mineral feed, which is new to FS22. So let's get this all going, shall we? We're going to turn on our feeder here. It's going to start to make a lot of noise as it goes. This is the Farrison feeder. Uh, and we've got our vehicle all ready to go over here. We've got a truck full of supplies. And we've also got our mineral feed on the back of the trailer over there. Now, the, great, the first great thing about this is that you have to unwrap your bales to put them into the feeder, which I love. I really do like that. Next step is to have to actually cut open these strings. But for now, we're going to take the scorpion here and we're just going to spike this and load it on into the wagon nice and easy to do uh, we'll have to do the same thing with the bale of uh, hay and also with a, a bale of straw uh, but what you'll see is as we jump it in first of all check out the the capacity of the bale it's currently at 5,000 liters as i lower this down it no longer just disappears like it used to instead as you lower it down you'll see that the volume starts to disappear now you can shake it off but if i jump out of the cab here you'll see that everything is filling up and in the second, it's just going to vanish. And that is the full bale in the hopper, which I really like that, actually. Uh, it's a really nice little touch. Now, as you come and jump back on it into your John Deere, you'll see our silage is the 100%. We actually want to get it in between those two white arrows. And that was going to be where you have an optimum mix. So that will change as you add in the other, uh, the other materials. And we'll be able to balance that right on out there. So let's go and we'll get a bale of straw. And we'll also pick up a bale of grass as well. Ooh, that one as well. And this should be nice and easy to get ourselves set up with here. Uh, and then the cattle will be fed in no time. Uh, curiously as well, because this is a, uh, a place where by giants, you don't actually need to supply water and like your previous years. Water is already automatically plumbed in. Uh, so they, uh, it's not something we have to keep on top of here at the moment. If you opt to go for the smallest pasture, which is just a fence, then yes, you have to keep that into your considerations there. But for right now, we're all looking good. Uh, so we're just going to stick this in. Again, you'll see that that's going to start to disappear on us. Like so. That's a larger uh, bale of straw here. So what you can do, the great thing about this, you can monitor it. If you don't want to add it all in or if straws is a bit of a premium for yourself there, we're going to stop about the 3,000 liters. Let's just lift it out of the way back on into here and you'll see right now the straw is quite high uh but we can we can counteract that with uh, the bale of hay so we're just going to leave that exactly like it is uh and then we'll go and put this down this here bale can be used later on uh, that's not a problem at all we could also use it for bedding at some point as well uh but for right now we're just going to stick it on the deck over here perfect stuff uh grab that bale of hay stick that in and then we'll come back for the additive as well uh, it, a mineral feed is something that is new to uh, FS22. Uh, it is, again, a nice little addition there just to add you uh, the option to really create the perfect uh, mixed ration for your cattle there. If you really want to optimize their feeding so you can ensure that productivity will be at the highest level, then that is absolutely something that will be essential. You can buy it from the store. You can have it uh, uh, loaded up onto the back of your trailer and shipped on over. Uh, this bale, though, we're going to stick all of this guy in. In you go. Perfect. Now you can see now it's actually sticking out the bottom there, but that will be disappearing in good time. As you can see, like that, it's going. The straw is coming down. It's going to fit inside of its uh, parameters there a little bit better, and we will be looking good. So 
what we need to do we need to counteract that little bit of straw we put a touch too much in there but that's fine we can get to that one uh we'll just go and pick up another bale of silage and we'll just add a tiny little bit in uh and then we'll be good to go oh, as i career into there and knock them off the back uh the boss will not be happy here at all okie dokie then so what we just need to do first of all because it's silent just jump out uh and wrap the bale lovely stuff and like i say we don't want to this is a five thousand liter we'll probably put about one and a half thousand liters into here i would suggest i don't want to go too much let's see what that does for it Perfect. So now we can see we're all in the green, which is exactly where we want to be. Obviously, you can add more uh, grass and silage into the ratio there as well. It just shows the straw. You don't want to have too much in because if you put too much straw in there, you're going to lack the, um, the, vit the mineral content and the, the nutritional content of the silage there because straws is there to really fill them up. So you want to be careful about that one. Uh, but that is fine. What we now need to do is add in one little pallet of our uh, additive of our mineral feed. You don't even really need to add it all in. You just need to add a little sprinkling. Uh, the amount that you need to put in there is very minuscule. But we can we can make sure we figure that out. So I'm just going to get one of these off the trailer. And then we'll somehow wedge it onto the forks here where we can. I think this shouldn't be a problem. So as you can see, as it's delicately poised on the end, we've got just over a thousand liters on this pallet. Now we're only going to need... Ooh, a tiny bit of that maybe half of it at best so we're just going to put a sprinkling on and then we'll adjust it where we need to but as you can see it's already started to go and then we're just going to lift it up because that's one you got to be a little bit careful with that does like to disappear pretty quickly on you here but let's see how that's looking perfect and you can see that's about halfway through so we could maybe have stuck the whole pallet in there but we're okay we've got the perfect balance that we need we're at 87 percent full for the feeder capacity here and what we're going to do is just drive one in. Just need to make sure the tip side is on the right side, which it is. Uh, and then this little John Deere is going to pop on in. And we'll get a trigger uh, warning when we're in the right place. And we should be good to tip. There you go. So we've got total mixed ration there. Now the beautiful thing, or one of the uh, really nice improvements for FS22. Look at the fill plane texture that comes in now. As you fill this up, it doesn't just fill up across the board there. You can drive it in. And it will fill up for you there, which I think is just beautiful. It looks great. Uh, it will warn you when you're full. Look at the cattle come running in there. They're clearly hungry. And there you go. That is completely full. So, completely empty, sorry. Uh, the cattle have been fed now, which is great. As you'll see, uh, as we jump on into the menu here, obviously we've got the large cow barn and the small one. This is the large one. Total mixed ration is looking pretty good. We're still very light on these two, though. So we can figure that out right now. Uh, because you do want to make sure that you fill up all of the the bars the best way to ensure that your cattle are going to be the most productive is to fill up each individual bar now you can do that very easily with the telehandler and i will show you exactly how we're just going to jump back on over pick up a bale of silage we've got one on the floor there already uh so we need to pick up a, a bale of hay actually first Let's just drop this down here. Probably come back to you. And we, all we're going to do is quite simply just drop this onto the floor. Now what that will do is slowly disappear in front of you. You have to actually physically drop it off the edge of the, the uh, load of forks though. We're going to put it about where that is. And you'll see if I do that and then uh, pull away from it. You'll see that it's already gone by the time we've got out there. We look onto our uh, bar and we're already at 8,000 litres. So it's going to take a few bales of hay to fill that up. Uh, it will um, it will let you know when it's reached its capacity because it just won't disappear anymore. But that is fine. That is absolutely fine. Now what we can do is we'll put one more in there just to show because I don't want to use up too much. Now, if you wanted to as well, if you like the practice of using the feeder, you can stick this into your feeder and just run through and it will allow you to do the same thing again. Personally, I find just when it comes to bales, a lot easier just to stick those on in and drop them on the deck. And 
Ah, no, that's a perfect example. This one has now got three and a half thousand liters of hay left, which means that they are full. They've reached their capacity for hay. As you can see, that's about 12,000 liters there. So they don't need any more of that. Grass spills is the same uh, principle. You want to bring a grass spill through here and just uh, drop it on the deck and it will fill up. It won't be full because they've already got quite a lot of their TMR. Now, what I always like to do is just leave these on the deck in the shed because that will allow, as they slowly reduce down the uh, feed in the trough, that will uh, supplement it. So the law will be looking good. I thought like I would escape there. Uh, but yeah, that is the premise of how to feed your smaller barns without the robots in there. Where if you're just on a smaller scale, that is nice and simple. Your cattle will be uh, at the optimum with grass, with a bale of hay, and with total mixed ration as well. Nice and easy to do, but that will allow you to achieve the highest optimal yield for your milk production. Or, or give your cows the best chance of uh, reproducing for the beef as well. Now... Now we're going to go into the world of robots. Now, when it comes to the larger models of the, the cow sheds here and the animal husbandry, things are just on a larger scale in general. You'll see this is a feed bay, which has been used specifically to hold the various different feed that are required to uh, keep the animals going. And this is the robot that feeds them. This is rather incredible. Now, after a little bit of trying, I couldn't get the bales to work with the tiny handler here. But what we do have... And what we're going to start to do here is just to stick in the load of mineral feeds that we have on this tractor and trailer. Now, we have gone for the beautiful, uh, the Deutzfar Warrior. Look at that. Color config is just fantastic. It really is. But we're in position. So what we're going to do is just tip that onto the uh, floor here in the trigger. That will go into the silo uh, and that will be added into the mixture, which is great. That's number one done. Now, this sort of scenario here, in my opinion, would work best if you have a uh, if you have silage pits as well, and you're able to add in all of your uh, bulk silage, grass, uh, straw, for example. But what we're going to do is just add in a bit more into this trailer here and show you how it works. So as you can see, we have inside the back of the trailer now. This is a trailer load of silage. Now, this is not going to like to be tipped into here. I can already tell because of the roof. But this is essentially how you would do it. Let's just load that down. We're going to get this all tipped onto the deck slowly but surely. And we should be in a much better place here. But ultimately, this is where you need to be able to have a lot of bulk. Uh, this is a, a, anticipating here that you're going to have large silage pits full. Uh, and it'll be easier just to even tip in by wheel load or telehandler into here. Uh, as we don't have that though, what we're going to do is... As we don't have that though, we're just going to struggle on. Get this unloaded here bit by bit before it becomes too much of a hassle. We'll do the same for our straw. Uh, we might even try to tip a load of straw into there uh, using the tally handler just to see how we get on. But we have silage and now we have our mineral feed in there. Let's Now when it comes to straw for the diet feed in as well there, you can do two things really. You can either use like your belt shredder and chopper like you would normally. Or you can do what we have and have a bulk trailer full of straw. Uh, when you get close to the trigger there, drop it onto the deck and it will take care of the rest of it for you there. So it's going to fill up here uh, and then we should be looking pretty darn good. As you can see, that plane is filling up quite nicely. Uh, and then the same with again with grass. So you could use your bales here. You could just drop the bales out in the diet feeder to there and that will apply the same. Or you, if you happen to have loose grass, you can just tip it out the back of a forage wagon. We'll get this all filled up as well in the same location and then we'll come back to you. Just like that, we are tipping our hay into the, the the right bay there. It's all filling up nicely. That should be all good. As you can see, you'll when you get close to the triggers, it will show you the exact quantities that we have there. So we're looking pretty darn good. We've got uh, 20,000 liters of hay. We've got just under for silage and straw and the mineral feed as well there. So we're all looking pretty set. Now, let's see our robot in action, shall we? And well, as you can just see inside here, folks, the machine is working. The robot is now going through. It is filling up our little mixer here. It is taken from each of the bays uh, and it will fill this all up nicely. It's shut it all off there so you don't accident accidentally drive in there and, and destroy anything. But it is doing its job. It's now going to go through and pick up a scoop full of straw. Now, this happened at 6 o'clock here this evening there, so it is doing its thing. Uh, you can see in the corner there of our graph as well that everything is filling up nicely. They are currently sitting at about 1,600 liters of food of TMR there, so they should be looking pretty darn good. Uh, I imagine we're going to see one more scoot along to the very end here to pick up a bit of grass. 
There she goes. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I've actually seen videos of this for uh, larger scale European farms. It's pretty sweet, actually. Really, really interesting. But through it goes. And away it goes there. And that is all you have to do. As long as you keep these bays full. Uh, like I say, with bulk silage, bulk straw and bulk hay, it will take care of the rest of it. Up comes the door. And our little guy is going for a ride here, I believe. And here it comes. It's going to take its time. It's going to spin around the corner. Uh, be careful not to get too close to it because it will stop if I show you here. If I stop about there. It does kind of think that someone's in the way and it does uh, jam on the brakes there. But that's all good. And now it's going to go. We're going to follow it around. And uh, that is all you need to do. You need to leave it to it. Make sure it has plenty of space and don't leave tractors and trailers in the way like that. And you are all set to go. I hope this has helped you figure out just how you're going to feed your cattle, depending upon the size of your business, if it has and you've yet to do so. Do leave any comments, questions, or feedback down below. And if you have enjoyed this and it has been informative for you, do hit that like button. Until next time, though, I have been Simulations for the Nation. I do hope we'll see you again in the next one. Until then, do stay safe and take care.